just start by talking us through the whole process that you've been through here in COVID protocol over the last couple of weeks? Uh, oh, yeah, I had a little bit of a weird start to it. You know, I tested positive in Carolina and then, uh, you know, was told I was out and then did two more tests and they were both confirmed, uh, came back negative. So uh, I was told about like six minutes before a puck drop uh, that I was playing. So I kind of just got dressed and got out there for the game. And then uh, the next morning I tested positive and both were confirmed positive in, uh, in DC. And in terms of having to, you know, wait in the U S and then get back across the border, being out of the lineup longer than you might've been otherwise, just talk us through that part of it and, and how frustrating it's been to not be able to play. Yeah, it's uh, it's obviously tough, you know, when you're healthy and you have no symptoms and you got to watch, you know, all those games and uh, important games for us. So it's definitely tough sitting on the couch watching those, um, you know, 10 days a long time, especially when you're when you feel fine. So, uh, but, you know, importantly, I'm back now and, you know, we got a long, you know, long left in the season. So uh, I'm excited just to get back into it tonight. Moving along to Patrick Johnson, Post Media. Connor, was there at least a, a silver lining that you got to go home and spend some time with your family? Uh, well, yeah, I had recently purchased a house, so there was no furniture in it when I got home at about two in the morning uh, from D.C. I drove, you know, 11 and a half hours through a blizzard, so uh, I got home, and um, luckily it's furnished now, and, you know, I got to put together my office and uh, build myself an arcade room, so it was fun to get a lot of that stuff done. And, uh, yeah, my family came over after the five days, I think last night my uh, – Sisters were over, it was her birthday, so that's that's nice, but obviously, you know, you'd rather be here with the team. And, yeah, just having to watch from afar, I mean, one of the things the team maybe struggled to score a little bit, was that a especially frustrating aspect, given that's a thing you do? Well, I don't know. It's just um, you'd like to help the team in any ways, you know. Um, you want to be out there and, you know, and competing and playing, and, you know, it's easier to watch when they're winning, you know, the Nashville game. Well, it was fun to watch, and then, well, the rest were a late game, so it was tough staying up. I watched the, the overtime uh, against the Oilers in my bed. I couldn't stay up any longer, so, uh, but it's just hard. You know, it's hard watching when you're healthy. You know, it's hard when you're injured, but uh, when you're healthy and you feel like you can help them, it's, it's definitely tough. We'll come back to Brendan Batchelor, Sportsnet 650, for one more. Uh, yeah, just wondering, have you been able to be on the ice much uh, while you were waiting to get back north of the border, and, and how do you feel about jumping right back in tonight? Yeah, I was, uh, you know, I'm pretty fortunate. I have a, a good family friend of mine that has a rink, an indoor rink in their backyard and um, was able to go use it. Great family, great friends, um, you know, to be able to set me up like that. So, uh, you know, it was, uh, had my, you know, own little space to get dressed, go out on the ice, stay in shape. And then uh, the last uh, couple couple days, my skating coach was able to join me out there and uh, it was really good to see him. You know, he's, he's battling through something. So to be able to see him when I was home was awesome. And uh you know, just uh, to stay in shape and be ready to go. Okay, we'll wrap there with Connor Garland. We have